guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> I'm so sorry matagal na pa akong hindi nag video kasi sobrang busy sa work so uh, but then today I will be making beef pork afritada so it's been a long time na hindi kami nakakain itong so today, if you can see, hindi ko na po patatagalin. Ito na po ang aming mga ingredients. So, itong beef. Uh, beef steak actually ito. So, hinati ko lang siya ng maliliit na, na cubes. And also, meron na akong pork. Pork chop. So, sinlice ko din siya ng cubes din. Uh, small pieces lang po. Meron akong bell pepper, green and red. Meron po akong soy sauce. And I will be adding tomato sauce also in my recipe. And I think I'll finish the whole green cheese pack. And then garlic and onion. So I will be also using some salt, black pepper, um, um, some additional, you know, um, spices that can enhance the flavor of a fritada. So, I will be also using some laurel and I think it, it, it is good and it will add some flavor. So, let's cook na po! Okay guys, so magluluto na po tayo. First, painitin na natin ang ating Okay, so habang inaantay natin yung pan na uminit, lagyan natin ng kanto. Itong kaldero na ginagamit ko is one of my favorite kaldero in the house. So that's like part of my investment here. And I love using it. So, Habang inaantay natin, I'm using, I'm looking for my, this, my favorite one. Okay, so, itong klaseng pan since conviction, so kailangan medium heat lang siya. Hindi pwedeng high heat ang gamitin. Lalagyan natin na, naglalagay tayo ng mantika or oil. Okay, just a... Uh, small amount of oil. Okay, so wait lang po natin na uminit yung ating oil. Pero wag naman masyadong sunugin kasi hindi siya pwedeng ma-overcook. So, habang inaantay po natin, isislice ko lang po yung ating garlic na maliliit kasi nakalimutan ko nakalimutan kong isla okay quick quick chop nowadays yung aming stove ay sobrang busy <clears throat> laging may laging luto Especially na katatapos lang natin ng Valentine's Day, I made something, something special for my family. So, nagluto lang kami ng pasta and chicken joy. Two kinds lang. Kailangan mag-iwin para at least maubos din agad. Lalagay ko na po yung ating oil, uh, I mean garlic.
Hinahin natin yung beef kasi matagal po maluto ang beef. So, kung makikita nyo, hindi ko muna nilagay yung aking yung aking onion. So, that's okay. Kasi gusto kong gawin yung gusto kong ilagay yung onion later. Okay, habang inaantay namin, buksan na po natin yung ating tomato natin na mabuti yung ating ginagawa. Oops! Ito ba ang ating sauce? Tomato sauce. Be careful pag nag-o-open tayo ng mga bilata. Kasi, kaminsan, napunta sa malik yung ating kuchinyo. Okay. Okay, para po maging malasa yung ating beef, lagyan na po natin ng garlic powder. I'm putting garlic powder. I love garlic powder so much. And then, I will be putting some cayenne pepper also. So, pakitake note na lang po yung ating mga spices na inad. Kunti lang. Para lang may kick yung ating afritada. matatandaan nyo po yung ating beef na ginamit is ano lang siya uh, steak uh, madali lang ito palamutin but uh, again kailangan unahin muna natin siyang lutuin before natin ilagay yung ating pork okay so antayin natin at takpan muna natin So, after a few minutes, pwede na po natin ilagay yung ating pork. Kung makikita nyo po, okay na yung ating beef. Itong klaseng beef, hindi siya pwede i-overcook. Otherwise, magiging uh, iba yung kanyang lasa. Parang uh, hindi na siya actually lasang beef. So, gusto natin yung may konting flavor pa rin. Now, I'm gonna add pork. <clears throat> okay, today is President's Day. So, holiday. Walang paso. Kaya, luto-luto muna. Luto-luto tayo para may pambaon bukas. Never ko pa maitry magluto ng afritada na kasi kasama yung beef at saka pork. So, this is my first time na magluluto tayo ng pork and beef afritada. So, ngayon, dalagyan natin ng konting salt. 
para may konting flavor yung ating konti lang. Just a small amount of salt. Okay. So, ngayon, tatakpan natin ulit. Okay. Okay, guys. So, binuksan ko na po yung aking pan. So, kanyang ito na po ang itsura niya. So, now, ilagay na po natin. Let's put our sorry, today I'm speaking English and Tagalog. But, I believe meron akong translation. Okay? So, you could understand what I'm saying. I apologize to those who are watching that doesn't understand Tagalog. Okay? So, if you can see, It looks beautiful already. Let's put our onions. And it smells good. Super. And let's put our bell pepper as well. Let's put all of them. Okay, now we can cover it again. Okay, let's open it. Let's stir it. Wow. Oh my gosh. I didn't put any water in here. So if you can see, there's no water and it's just accumulated um, the liquid from the tomato sauce and also from our meat. Okay, now let's put our green peas. Um, I think I'm not going to use the whole package because it's going to be too much. So let's just squeeze like that. If you have a garban sauce, it's better to use that for this kind of recipe. For me, I like garban sauce, but since I don't have anything available, and I forgot to buy from the grocery store, so then I'm just gonna use this green piece. Okay, so now I am going to put just one laurel because sometimes my doctor doesn't want to have too much um, smell on the food. So I have to make sure that she would eat this. And then just maybe two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay. Remember guys, you can adjust the saltiness of your food. It depends on if you are on diet or if you are trying to avoid salt. You can add salt later on while you are eating. And to the people that doesn't want or doesn't want to use salt, you can just, you know, leave it like that because if you can see soy sauce has already sold also tomato sauce as well so look guys if you can see it's super easy super easy to make and everyone can make it at home so i'm just gonna lower the heat to medium and let it simmer for maybe 10 minutes So 
while I'm simmering, I'm trying to clean up all the mess that I made here over in the countertops. And then we'll see how it goes. We'll see the flavor, whether the food or the flavor is already um, good enough. And we can add a little bit of soy sauce again or fish sauce or a little bit of salt so it depends on your uh, taste okay so i i already cleaned and guys i just want to say thank you so much to all my uh, 522 subscribers um that's staying on my channel i really really do appreciate uh, you guys and um, I'm very very thankful that you are staying on my channel and with my daughter as well We are having fun doing the vlog also taking a video um, Anything or anytime that we had a chance to upload some videos that we will do and then we could share it to you But in the meantime, I just want to say shout out to my daughter that making the customized rings and earrings and jewelry um, I just want to show you here this is my beautiful ring that she made it's so beautiful and if you are interested to buy this you can search Epop and then search her name M-A-E-B underscore 99 so all her jewelry customization is there and then you can message her or you can buy online from the top store and then she can do it for you if you can see it's so lovely right and if you if you uh, wear this you can wear it every day you can wear while sleeping as well it doesn't it will not bother your your finger at all look it's so pretty okay so Shout out to my daughter. She did a great job. Well done and um, good luck to her small business. She started this a while ago during her birthday and now she's she has like 300 sales in her Depop account. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's see. You know guys, um, some people who make a frittada, they also um, include liver or any, um, any kind like heart or beef liver or chicken liver, it adds flavor as well. But nowadays we are trying to less, uh, we are trying to consume a lot of sodium in our body because um, as you know, we're not doing some physical activity every single day so you have to lessen um, your meat consumption as well okay let me try i hope the flavor is good enough okay for this i'm gonna add some fish sauce I think one teaspoon of this sauce. That's it. And also, I am going to try the beef, whether the beef is tender enough and it's ready to serve let me see oh wow look at this now it's finished and it's ready to serve 
thank you so much for watching our channel and I hope you stay for the rest of our channel videos and upload so thank you so much take care bye